morning you guys welcome to vlogmas day three i am just waking up it's about 9 a.m i have quite a bit to do today before i go to work so i'm gonna take you guys with me i'm gonna run to target i need to look for a ugly christmas sweater because i am going to be on a podcast and the theme is ugly christmas sweater it's the christmas party so if you guys are in the raleigh durham area definitely come out um if you watch this video just dm me if you want the information to the um podcast because i'll be there and it'll be really great to see you so just let me know but yes yeah, so i'm gonna go to target um and then i actually need to go to apple because i have had the most trouble with this phone since I got it. I got the uh, 13 and first of all I had to order it. You can't go in the store and buy a phone anymore. What the heck. Then uh, it like randomly locked me out like kept telling me my password was wrong which was totally stupid. Now it won't connect back to my MacBook so I have no idea as to why that is so I need to have them go do it. My face is just gross right now. I don't know what to do, y'all. Between my hair and my freaking sty, like, I be feeling like a bummy little troll right now. Um, <laughs> to put it plainly. Oh, and there's also this new store. Well, it's not really new. It's a new store. It's called Crumble Cookies. I'm going to go try that out because it's right over there by the Target and the Apple Store. And I'm probably going to Chick-fil-A since that's over there, too. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. Target, you guys, I'm getting one, maybe two things. I'm getting the ugly Christmas sweater, and I may get me another button-down shirt. Um, because I work at two bars, and I literally work at one and then leave and go to the other. And I need a shirt that will be appropriate for both. So, I'm going to look for me a black button-down shirt as well, possibly, if I don't forget. Um, and then I have to go to work. So let's see if I can get all this done before 3.30. I'm sure I will because it's literally 9 o'clock now. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm going to see you guys with me. I'm going to get dressed, do my makeup because I look like a freaking, I look like one of those troll thingies. But I'll see you guys in a little bit. So I got dressed, y'all. I'm in the car. I'm on the way to Target. I just ended up putting on this Crypto Millennials t-shirt. Um, some black biker shorts. And I'm wearing a black cardigan. And oh my god, I realized why I look like an old lady. Because I didn't do my edges. I did my hair. Just to put some curling cream on it. But I did not do my edges. And now I freaking figure out why I feel like I look like an old lady. But that's okay. I'm headed to Target and I will check in with you guys when I get there. Like I said, I'm getting two things. I think I'm gonna stop at Chick-fil-A first so I'm not like grumpy. And then I'm going to dash in the Target. But very chill outfit. So, love these new glasses. I got these at, I think I got these at Ross actually. Um, and they're Tommy Hilfiger. I don't know if the stuff at those stores are actually real or not, but they be cute. So, don't sleep on the little TJ Maxx and Raw stores, okay, honey? Target the hell with my smoothie no mask they have some ugly Christmas sweaters but I'm the type of person that doesn't want to have the same sweater as everybody you know everyone's always in Target so let me see what they have 
So I see this one. This one's actually cute. Let's see. Darth Vader, it looks like. Not too much of a fan of him. This be kind one, which represents me for sure. Even though <laughs> Even though everybody thinks I'm a capital B. This is the one I was looking for. I saw it online. But it's in a small. Oh, I'm nearly tempted to squeeze. Even though I wear an XL. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Oh, I'm gonna see if they have another one. I don't think I can fit a small at all. But of course I'm gonna go try it on. And then I need a black button down. I didn't even look at the price. 32. I need a black button down. Um, top. Okay, so no luck with the Christmas sweaters cause I don't know if they're gonna fit. I might have to shop around at another Target. But I did find these super cute sunglasses. I'm like obsessed with sunglasses. And this pullover for 20 bucks. So I'm definitely getting that. We love a bargain, honey. Now, if I could find a button down black top, that'd be great. If not, I'll just use a pullover because honestly, I kind of wanted to do a pullover instead. But we'll see. found one in my size y'all I had to do some digging but I think I'm gonna get this one success so I got the freaking sweater I got the pullover I got the sunglasses and I got what else did I get I feel like I got something else and I got, oh, a button down black shirt, y'all. Oh my God. Although I didn't try it on, so we'll see how that goes. But I literally got everything I needed and then some. Of course, I didn't really need the sunglasses. Didn't really need the pullover, but I actually wanted a pullover. So, yeah. And I said I was going to go to this place called Crumble Cookies, but I literally can't find it. Like, I don't know if they're not open or what. I'm going to drive down a little bit further, see if I can find it. Although, I'm actually not hungry, so I'm gonna just see where it is because I have to always number two at the worst times, y'all. So I'm not even gonna go to Chick fil A. I had that smoothie, I'm good with that as of right now, but like I have to get home because girl, <laughs> your girl gotta go, okay? Nature calls, but I'm gonna see, I'm gonna take y'all with me. Let's see if we can find this. And it's low key hot. Like, is it me or is it winter? Is it summer? Is it? I mean, at this point, I don't know. I'm seasonally confused. Like, the hot today is supposed to be 70. I have a cardigan on. 
but it's also like a slight breeze out like it might as well still be fall like the way this weather is seriously and my homeboy let me use his discount y'all okay so boom excuse me my boyfriend according to this to what we had a, you know we had a finesse situation but definitely got all the stuff I needed so I'm so happy about that and can we talk for a second y'all so y'all know I'm a bartender right I cut my hair so I know that gives me a different look but can we talk about how discriminatory the bar scene oh I found this I found the freaking place okay it is open but I'm not gonna go but this is if you guys can see that far it's over there it's called crumble I've never been, but I keep hearing about it. In my last place I used to work, this girl used to talk about it all the time, so it must be good. But I'm gonna head home. But back to my story, chit chat little, can I go? Whatever, I'm going. Um, Can we talk about how discriminatory the, or discriminating, I don't even know what the word is, the club scene is not even the club scene because this is like a bar well I guess this is like a club but anyway I had applied to work at this club and one of the other plus size vloggers um, vloggers excuse me talked about this but I didn't really like think too much into it but now I actually see what she means Jude Denise talked about this on her blog about how discriminating Dude, go. The club scene is, or bartending scene. So, I work at a few bars. You know, if you bartend, you can kind of work wherever or however you want because you're not working all the time. Like, you know, you don't have to work every day, things like that. So, I had applied to this one club here in my city. It's new. And applied to two I can just tell the obviously I know what they're looking for in terms of they want the slim thick they want no tummy fat ass I get it that's the whole look nowadays whatever but like just say you can't just say we're not what you're looking for and tell me why because bitch I want to know I want to hear you say it out your mouth because they keep putting up um hiring for all positions bartenders hostess whatever and i applied and i dm them i was like oh i applied like what whoa, whoa, whoa. and they were like yes yeah, someone will reach out to you no they won't they'll reach out to me if i fit a certain look and i really didn't think y'all i applied to this other spot before like maybe a month or two ago when I first started bartending and like I kind of let it go because I was like all right you know maybe it's just the club or just that particular spot no honey they is discriminating meanwhile I work at three white establishments with no problem like I that just blows my mind so just saying if you think and you think but like thick thick like big almost like you chubby chunky whatever you want to call it plus size fat I don't care they are not checking for you at all like in the slightest like yeah so that's a whole thing but anyway it's all good because I'm still getting my money and that's all that matters and but it just sucks because it's like, dang, y'all really like that. And it sucks it wouldn't be your own people. Like, if it was white people, I wouldn't be like that sad because, I mean, hello, that's shit I'm used to. But when it's black people, by the way, I'm sweating like, fuck y'all, it's so hot. When it's your own people, like, I get it. My Instagram isn't me showing my booty hole and turn around showing my butt all the time. And I know they be wanting those girls to work in the club, but damn, Shotty just trying to make some money and go home, okay? That's all. But anyway, enough of my ranting. I'm about to be home in a little bit. I'm about to enjoy this nice little day with this breeze. And... I have to go to work later at 3.30 and I work at the club tonight. So I do work at another club. That's the crazy thing. It's like some places will give you opportunity 
some places won't so we appreciate the ones that get the sis paid okay um but yeah i'm gonna head home i may like make some food at home i may stop by chick-fil-a just because i know i'm gonna be hungry but i um and I'm mad because, of course, now I've passed Chick-fil-A. And that's really what I was craving, to be honest. But I'm just trying to think if there is anything good on the way home. Y'all know our refrigerator's broken, so food at home is like, you can't eat it. Like, you can eat, like, rice and shit, but I don't really want that. We'll see. Let's see what I can find. And I will check in with you guys later. Um, if this is the last time I see you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and y'all have a beautiful and amazing day. I did say I may be able to take you guys to work with me depending on how busy it is. If there's a game, then it's going to be super busy. I guess I could just set my camera up, but if there isn't, then you guys can see what the bartending life is like. So I'll see you guys later. All right. So we got the goods. I already showed y'all my Christmas sweater that I'm going to be taking. So, you already saw that. I did end up getting these cute sunglasses. They were only 12 bucks, So, not that I needed them. I got this plain, just a button up or down, whichever one. Um, black plain button down definitely needed that I work at a hotel bar and then I also work at a club so I can button up button it up at the hotel bar and then button it down for the club because you know gotta get a little sexy and then I got this black pullover never not love a good pullover so love that and that is all I got you guys that is gonna be the end of this vlog there's me in the back you know but that is gonna be the end of this vlog thank you guys so much for joining for vlogmas day three also if y'all can tell that I'm whispering I told y'all my sister works from home and she's at work right now and she's on the phone so I'm not trying to be loud um but I will see you guys another day thank you guys so much for joining make sure to like comment subscribe and follow me on um instagram at osocopacetic follow me on snapchat at coco bichet 13 and if you have me on facebook you have me on facebook i'm not gonna broadcast my facebook out there but thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it and i'll see you guys in the next one